we need to understand the why and the what of today's conversation specific to application security posture management. So the why. Nick, you like these slides. Shocking number, shocking. And I want to mention 29 billion, which, which has got nothing to do with how many fans Mick Jagger has that are still alive, but actually the number of people that are out there whose records are out there somewhere else. But we also know that this number moves and it increases, sadly. So this number has increased from last year, hasn't it? Well, this statistic, right, is from a governance body in the United Kingdom, right? And I thought, well, can they really be right, right? I mean, it's, it's there. There's a whole bunch of these reports. But if you look at the Internet Crimes Complaint Center of the mm. FBI, right, every year they release this report. And this is one of the screenshots from the report, right? And this is for people that have complained about breaches. And look at the numbers. Just look at the red arrows right, that's pointing up. Year on year, these breaches have become more prolific and has costed people more money. The business email, what's the C, Nick? Compromise. Business email compromise, almost $3 billion, right? Now, obviously, this is, you know, just based on, on what's in the US, but the one that we would really like to talk about today is the one that everyone's been talking about since the beginning of the year, the Midnight Blizzard one. And in one of our previous webinars, Nick actually took you through what happened, the anatomy of this attack. And I feel like I'm on YouTube where I can say, click the link above um, <laughs> to, to watch that video. But, you know, we've all been exposed to, including Microsoft, to some sort of nefarious character threat actor, right? And it's important for us to understand the severity and the seriousness of this conversation. As much as Nick and I joke about these things, this is real, this is today, this is important to everyone that has shown up for this call. Nick, these sorts of slides, I mean, you live inside of this, the Microsoft Cybersecurity Reference Architecture slides and everything else. And this is a traditional sort of, you know, they call it the cloud native application protection platform from Microsoft. So where do you think application security posture management fits into this slide? Well, if this was one of those puzzles, then you would look for that one little puzzle piece that you think doesn't really fit anywhere. And you'll notice somewhere right in the middle is a little thing called Microsoft Entry, but it's not enough actually to show you where this thing really fits in because it fits into two places at the same time, doesn't it, Al? Yeah, so, and I think I wrote a blog post about this recently, right? Um, where we talked about DevSecOps and application security posture management and how it's the intersection of DevSecOps and cloud security posture management. At a SecOps or a DevSecOps level, yes, your developers should look at the security posture of the application they're developing, but when it comes into your environment, you typically roll all that up into CSPM, right? Mm -hmm. And I know these acronyms are going to drive you crazy, but you can see that line between DevSecOps and cloud security posture management. That's pretty much where application security posture management fits. Why? Because, you know, because, 10 points for anyone who knows what movie that is from, the pizza as the service slide, Nick. Do you want to talk to this? Let's talk about responsibility for a second. And this is not the application of responsibility as regards our parenting responsibilities and our children, but much <laughs> rather when we take an online service from someone, what are we responsible for and what is the service responsible for? Now, notice at the bottom, when we are entirely on premises, physical security belongs completely to us. Now, as we move up the stack, in this case, we go from left to right to infrastructure, platform, software, and then function as a service, we have less and less responsibility. However, there is an element of shared responsibility. And you'll notice that one of the things that never goes away is data classification and accountability. And then if you look at the third one, which of course we care about in this webinar extensively, is identity and access management. Now you'll notice on the right-hand side that we have both CIS controls cloud companion guide as well as CIS foundation benchmarks that speak to this uh, quite extensively and we're not going to have an entire discussion about controls 
But Al, I think the point that we can make here is that identity is something that always stays with us in terms of the things that we are responsible for, no matter if we are even extremely abstract, abstracted as a function, as a service. Look, it's a big thing, right? You need to understand that just because your stuff is in someone else's cloud, you still have the responsibility to make sure that your assets are protected because it's of a shared nature, be it AWS, be it Microsoft, be it GCP, be whatever cloud, public cloud that you're going to. So I think we've covered the why, because people are breaking into your environment. The what, application security posture management is no longer just the purview of right. DevSecOps or cloud security posture management, because it now falls on the identity and access administrator people to worry about it. Why? Because it's inside of Entra. 